Hello, I want us to look at field properties in Microsoft Access database. So, uh, apart from data types, we usually have more elaborate features or data types that should be included in the database design. So, we usually have field properties. That is the characteristics or more expansion of what should be contained uh, in the fields. So we have various types of uh, field properties whereby we have field size, format, input mask, caption, default values, etc. You can just see them at this point here. So we shall start with the first type of field property. It is called field size. So what is it? It controls the maximum size of the data in a field. For example, here we have item name. I want only 50 characters. So in case you write a sentence more than uh, 50 characters describing the field size, then, then it will be rejected. And in example here, in text field, setting the size to 50 means you can enter up to 50 characters. So you cannot exceed 50 characters. And you can see that here I've given item name, then I have gone down on the field properties up to field size, then I have set 50. The second uh, field property is called format. Format defines how the data is displayed. For example, a date field, you can set the format to DD, that means day with two, uh, allowing two uh, characters, month, allowing two characters, Y, 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 four Ys, uh, showing that it will display four characters. Therefore, an example is uh, 1st January 2024. That is for the format. You can see where I have redirected. So you just click on the data field, then you go to the format, then you type DD stroke MM stroke Y, 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 Y. That one will give you your data format of uh, day, month, year. Then we proceed to caption. Caption, on the other hand, uh, this is the label that appears for the field in forms and reports. Uh, for example, a field named, if in the field name we name MPID, you go to the caption section of field property and you can set the caption to employee ID. So the, when you run the database, form and reports, it will not show MPID, it will show the full name employee ID. You can uh, try that. Then we have the default value. The default value is the value that automatically appears in a new record. For example, for a status field, you can set the default value to be active. So whenever you enter a new field, instead of leaving it blank, it will type the word active. So you can now write uh, inactive later on, or you can choose inactive. So default value is the value that automatically appears in a record. Then we have validation rule and validation text. So validation rule is a condition that the data must meet, or it is a rule that must be obeyed. Then we have now the error message that comes when you violate the validation rule. That one is called the validation text. So the, mes uh, the message shown in the data, uh, if it doesn't meet the rule, that is in simple terms, that is the validation rule. Then we have an example. For a quantity field, a rule could be greater or equal to zero. If you enter a negative number, the text might say quantity must be zero or more. So here, the validation rule is greater or equal to zero. Whereas the validation text or the error message is quantity must be zero or more. You can just click on the, the, uh, the URL of YouTube videos uh, describing the practical section of validation rule and other uh, uh, field properties. Then we have indexed or indexed. What is it? Index, uh, it speeds up searches and sorting on the field. For example, indexing last name field makes it faster to find specific last names. So 
Index here, the work of index is to speed up searches and sorting on the fields. Then we have show date picker. What is it? It adds a calendar to date fields for essay selection. So if you don't select it, then you will type the dates manually without selecting. So uh, example is when you click on a date field, a small calendar pops up to pick a date. That is when you have enabled show date picker. Then we have required. What is it? A required uh, requires that the field cannot be left empty or null. So when required is set to yes, that means you cannot uh, leave that field uh, empty. For example, first name field. Setting it as required means you must enter a first name. Then we have new values. What is it? It determines the type of new values added to an automatic, uh, that is auto number field. You can set it to increment to automatically increase numbers or random for a random number each time. So this one is used in auto number field, whereby you may wish the auto number to be random numbers, any number. Then automatic uh, means it will give one, two, three, four in a specific increment manner. Then we have a very important uh, uh, field properties, input mask. What is it? An input mask is a pattern that controls how data is entered into a field. It ensures data is entered in a consistent and specific format. Why is it useful? And one is consistency. Ensures all entries follow the same format. Number two, it's useful in error uh, reduction, prevents users from entering in varied data. Then guidance, it helps users to understand the required format as they enter data. So how does it work? How does an input uh, mask work? An input mask uses special characters to define the pattern of an input. So these characters here are like a symbol showing what can be captured in such an instance. For example, when you put zero, it means you are inserting a digit. So when you type zero and then, for example, A, B, if, for example, you, you, you type a zero, then you type A, L, what does that one mean? It means zero uh, will allow entry of zero to nine, L will allow entry of A to Z, when you put 9, that means it is an entry option, that is digit or space. When you put hash, it means entry option, plus or minus signs allowed, here digit or space. When you put capital L, it means a letter, you can enter uh, a, any letter between A to Z, also a question mark, though that one means it is optional. When you put capital A, it means the, the, the letter entry or digit is required. When you put small a, that means letter or digit is optional. When you put ampersand, any character or space. Then we have, we have uh, C, capital C, means any character or space, entry option. We have the, the dot, that is the decimal or comma, that means decimal or thousands placeholder. That one is, you are conversant with it. Then we have angle brackets, greater than or less than, converts uh, characters that follow uh, into uppercase or uh, lowercase. Then we have exclamation mark, causes the input masks to fill from front to left. That is to uh, switch them. Escape, that is the uh, forward slash, sorry, back slash. Uh, uh, shows that escapes a mask character. So we have a, an example here so that you can uh, understand. Look at this pattern 999 into bracket, then 00 hyphen four zeros. That explanation of this. That means the first uh, nine, three nines are optional. There, that is the area code. So you can put it or escape. Then the last part requires digits for the phone number. For example, 123. 123 here is the uh, area code of a country, like 254 for Kenya. It's not a must you put it. You can leave it space. Then you write the other numbers. 
That's what it means. So 999 here means that uh, we have optional numbers. A number like a social security number, whereby we have uh, three zeros, hyphen, two zeros, then four zeros. That means the first three uh, digits, then followed by two middle digits, then followed by the last four digits. An example is 123, 45, 67, 89. You can see now, the input mask is just like a, a pattern of how data will be placed in your field names. Then we have postal code. Like for example, if you write pattern uh, greater than R0, R0, R0. Explanation, the greater than R letter, it writes the letter in uppercase. Then zero shows that there is a digit. Then R, O, R, O. These are alternating letters and digits. An example, we have K, it is capital since we have the greater than sign. Followed by zero means a digit, you put one. Then R means N letter, you can put an A. O is a, a, a number for that case. Then B is a letter, then one. So wherever there is O, uh, the zero, you put a number. Wherever there is R means a letter. Then we have this pattern. Uh, zero, zero stroke, zero, zero stroke, zero, 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 four zeros. Explanation, the first two means day. The second two zeros means month. The third, three, uh, four, that is the, the third four zeros means year. So we can have something like zero, one, zero, one, twenty, twenty. That means uh, D, D, M, M, Y, 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 Y. Then we have this entry as an example, zero, zero. Stroke 01 2024. That is an example of 00 stroke 00 stroke 00000. That means uh, an input mask is basically a format, a pattern of how data will be inserted in a certain field or how they will be displayed when you run your table or your database. So, setting up an, an input mask, you just open the table in design view, open your table and switch to design view. Select the field by clicking on it. Then uh, in the field properties, in the field properties pane at the bottom, find the input mask property. Input mask wizard will pop up. Click the ellipses, that's the three dots, to open the input mask wizard for common masks or enter the mask manually. Now input mask uh, wizard, the wizard provides templates for common mask and lets you customize them. Steps in the wizard, choose the predefined mask or create your own, test the mask to see how data will be entered, save and apply the mask to the field. So, using input masks help maintain data integrity. Remember data integrity is the completeness and accurateness and timeliness of data and improves the user experience by guiding uh, data and guys thank you very much for watching remember to click on the buttons uh, so not really the buttons but the url the addresses of youtube videos that uh, have this one in practical uh, manner guys remember to subscribe